Hello everybody, today we are going to speak about how to create this nice sequence and this nice environment with Unreal Engine and how to convert any image in Unreal Engine to be 3D sequence like that and how to play with all details and how to create cinematic shot like that before we start don't forget to like for my video and subscribe for my channel and let's get started first of all I'm going to choose which photo I'm going to add it as background something like this one or this one or you can choose any photo for example we can choose this drag and drop to Photoshop go to image and go to add image canvas size and we can go to it change it like that for example we can alt and the drag and the drop this one and you can repeat it here delete any part okay Something. now this one duplicate it put it in foreground and you can add everything so so nice okay so now I have this we can stretch it a little bit okay but we can add black background and we can something like this okay we can add layer here for so okay now we have this like vinit or something like this okay so now we are here okay and everything is good so now i'm going to export this image save as jpeg and go to disk uh, okay test test this is main main photo so second step or you can search for any background you can search for any background and you can convert it okay now you can go to any website okay for example 3dphoto.io and you can choose file desktop test main so just you want to upload so look this is our tips of field save go to test folder this is dips okay so everything is working nice now i'm going to add the to open unreal level and basic for example or we can delete all of them just i can add go to modeling now I'm going to add this rectangle okay rectangle so make sure subdivision maybe 500 500 and click here and accept so this is the first step just I'm going to scale this map rotate it a little bit and i'm going to add my texture here so we save this one folder which one we can rename it as test test okay 
test map okay so now i am going to go to our test folder and create our material so right click and go to material and open your material and we will add our image so go to desktop and test one this is test and you can drag and drop to your folder okay now i'm going to add this folder here this is texture and this is deep so far okay so now i'm going to m from keyboard and m okay now we are going to create our texture so just three in keyboard this is vector and you can choose your color white okay and we will connect this and this so easy and convert this is to parameter okay and i'm going to connect this to this one and we will create our brightness just right click and promote to parameter and i will rename it as brightness so now everything is working nice but if you look here for our texture yani so nice so make sure your value is one so look for this texture is not the same of our texture so come here to surface uh, to shading material i'm lit and now our material save okay nothing happened so you want to connect this to emissive color now our material is so nice save okay if you come here just you can make an instance for this test material okay drag and drop okay just we can rotate it a little bit and we can scale this one like that okay so we can delete this one and we can delete any light sky sky okay and all of them okay maybe so now i'm going to create an instance material drag and drop double click if you come here you can control our massive color like that okay so now we can go to our material again m from keyboard and m and you can create vertex vertex w s come here connect it connect it and we can create connect this to this area and promote to parameter okay so make sure uh, convert this to parameter and this value may be one and connect it to world position offset save and close so if you come here to our instance you will see this is bright and this is offset but make sure you rename it okay from the main material 
this is offset or displacement or as you like okay so nice and if you come here to an instance look for what happened look if you look so nice look for what we are going to connect this area so now we are here we can uh, make our light maybe just half and you can we can hide this one for example now we are here so look an instance material this one look so now we are here we can remove this light sky atmosphere skylight delete all of them we don't need any one of them okay funk and skylight we don't need anyone just this one okay duplicate and you can make it underground like that uh, okay rotate a little bit okay now we are here maybe in this area go to for example coaxial bridge and add uh, more assets we can this one this here so light we can add something maybe we can add wind light or something like this here radius to be like that <coughs> and We are going to add something like this here to make sense. Okay. Okay. And we can add something like this in this area. it a little bit okay this one
so I'm going to add maximum character and download this character import so now we can come here create level sequence blueprint create cinematic level sequence old main 2 double click now we can add our character here a little, a little bit a track actor at old man animation walk from this area from this area second so second maybe 10 second 10 second nice this is 10 second okay we can add our camera like that so we will start from this area so animation or uh, animation first all the man transform from this area to this area which animation walking okay so now we will here we will come here transform this is final area this is final area okay so now we will start from this area to this area okay if this is the first time at my channel don't forget to subscribe for my channel and like for my video see you in the next video take care السلام عليكم